Hi, everybody, and welcome to the fabulous Bristol Ivy. And uh, today, our guest, who was the first time on our show, uh, Robin Von, Van, Van, Van Rotz. Van Rot. Mm -hmm. Robin Van Rotz, okay. And your, your job here, Robin, is? I'm a director of community partnerships, um, okay. was the a position that I'm in now. Um, I was a student here um, back in the late that. 90s, <laughs> uh, and then went off uh, to the University of Massachusetts and came back as the floriculture instructor for about seven years, mm -hmm. um, transitioned into administration as the assistant principal, um, and now just this year transitioned into the community partnership. Role. Well, it's, 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 it's an honor to have you on the show and Thank to talk you. about a lot of the things that happen. Uh, the, our, our, our partners here in the camera have spent quite a few hours going through I've the heard. fair and uh, they're trying to pick everything up. And uh, I talked, Adele had said, Adele Sands had said to me uh, last time we talked that you have your own drone army. Mm -hmm. You have your own, own air force. <laughs> you have your own air force. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that that was being shown by a couple of students here or, uh, mm -hmm. or, or adults. Uh, it, it's amazing just how big uh, Aggie is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um, it is a treasure in, in Bristol, in Bristol County. It's a little over 200 acres in size. Um, we have about 460 students, and we cover uh, seven concentrations of agriculture, mm -hmm. from uh, large and small animal science to floriculture, landscape design and construction, arboriculture, agricultural mechanics, and resource, uh, natural resource management. Um, and currently, the natural resource management program and a bit of um, agricultural mechanics are, are the ones that are kind of spearheading the use of the drone uh, program right? called Aggie Air. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now, that's, uh, what would that be used for? What would your use be of the drones? Um, it, it really varies uh, by department, but um, some, uh, some uh, agencies um, outside of you know, yeah. of the school, which is what we're preparing our students for, are using it to look at migration patterns. Um, they're looking uh, at uh, soil. It's amazing. Um, uh, yeah, the, the heat of the soil, the um, hydration of the soil, um, what its capacities are. So the use for that type of technology is growing in the agricultural sector um, leaps and bounds. And so it's really, it's really cool to be on the leading edge of that agriculture. Um, agricultural technology. Um, so Imagine what you can do for the, uh, the famine of the, uh, of the world, actually, mm -hmm. if you can associate that with the need for you know, food. For food, yes. And, and when you're looking at, at it for food production, um, that's where the aerial type of uh, analysis really comes in. And so that's what we're looking to prepare our students for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, we're preparing them for, for the jobs that are, are going to be created yeah. and that may not even exist yet. Yeah. Um, so it was, uh, I believe you were able to see some of the students working with the drones um, mm -hmm. and, you know, th their ability to just pick it up and manipulate it and, and do all kinds of photography is just, it's amazing. It must be some, something heartwarming to know that a lot of students who deal with the animals uh, fall in love with them. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's time to have separate. They don't even want to graduate, I guess, after they have mm -hmm. to take it. But it's amazing how broad that is with, the, with the, the care that you give, yes. the, the care that you give to the animal and, mm -hmm. our and animal, the understanding. Yeah, our animal science program um, is, I would put it up against any, any place else. Yep. Um, our, our animals are truly um, cared for in, in the best way possible and they are loved by students. Oh. Um, you know, our, our cows are so loved. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, our sheep are so loved. Um, and, but it, it, it's, it adds value to the education that they receive. They interact with these animals on a daily yeah. basis. And, yeah. and what you saw at Fall Show, um, you know, was an example of yeah. that. Um, you know, it takes weeks and months for this campus to be prepared for Fall Show um, in all departments. Yeah, um, and you do so. it in October, mm -hmm. uh, and you get to school in September, but you must be working on that in the summer. Yeah, the, some oh. students are. Uh, the floriculture exhibits certainly start uh, at the end of the school year, yeah. um, and they kind of, you know, get their bearings and get their plans. Um, mm -hmm. Landscaping is the same thing, and then when they come back in September, they hit the ground running, and it, it is truly, it's a press. Um, yeah. It's a press for students, and it, it's a, 
it, it says a lot about our faculty, the ability for them to really come in get those kids focused and get that ready for October. Not kidding. Mm -hmm. Not kidding. Now, you only do one of those a year? We do one fall show a year, uh, and we have since... Um, you know, I, I want to say almost the beginning of the school, I, but it's been happening for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, and we've just recently started a spring expo. So the fall show, it really is a, um, it, it, the focus is on the students and what the students can do. Um, yeah. Their ability, their knowledge, their skills that they gain here. It, it's a, a place to showcase all of that. Mm -hmm. um, however, as Bristol Aggie's trying to um, become more of a beacon for the agricultural community, we started a spring expo um, as well. And that is more focused on the agricultural community yeah. versus just the students' skills and knowledge that they gain here. So um, that's growing in size. Um, it was first started by Brian Bastrak, who was the head of the Natural Resource Management Program. Um, but uh, Kyle Medeiros who, uh, and Ryan Miranda, who head off the Bristol Aggie Grows um, Program, kind of took that under their wing and, and really did a phenomenal job this year of, of getting more vendors and, and having more people attend. So we're, we're looking to, for that to expand as well. Well, the, the, I think it's fascinating to know there's only two schools, agricultural schools in the state, right? Did there you? are, well, two? technically, uh, technically there's, there's four. Um, there, there's us in Bristol County, there's Norfolk County Agricultural High School, um, who is kind of like a sister school, very similar. Um, and then Essex Aggie just combined with North Shore. So Essex Aggie's up in Danvers. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's a Smith Vocational School, which was the first agricultural vocational school um, out in Western Mass, up okay. in Northampton. Well, you're still number one. I, well, I, in my heart, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the, so, so all of the, the, the issues that they did expose is just about everything that they've done in the list of, I can't know the number of them. Uh, and for what, three days that you do this? Yep. Three days plus, it will probably work for uh, almost a year to get it going and keep it going. It takes a couple. It takes at least a couple months of, of hard planning, um, mm -hmm. and the students are able to um, exhibit that over the over those three days in October. Uh, Adele had told me once that you have a lot of people who are sponsors for certain things that come in here that the byproduct or the intellect that you develop for the animals in the, in the product of food uh, is has um, cheese people come in because of what you can uh, the, I'm talking about the sponsors types of things. So we Pe do have a few sponsors um, for specifically for fall show um, but we do have a, a lot of partnerships well, that's um, a, yeah, that are very beneficial for, for both uh, the organization, the agency that's partnering with us, and the school. Yeah. Um, you know, we are, we're part of the Cabot Cooperative and McAdams Cheese, yeah. um, but the Natural Resource Management Program partners with, um, you know, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and the University of Georgia and Hofstra University. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of those partnerships that allow the students to be exposed to real-life um, and work on real life projects. How old is Bristol Aggie, may I ask? It was started in 1912. Um, and so we, uh, we actually just dug up um, a book <laughs> about the history of agricultural education. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we were started in 1912. Again, the first one was Smith. Um, yeah. So we just did, you know, obviously back in um, 2012, our 100th celebration. Um, and that was a really, it was a really nice event where um, alumni and current students and current faculty were able to kind of get together and, and rehash what have, yeah. you know, it's certainly come a long way yes. over a yes. hundred years. It sure has. So. Now, you know, the, 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 most of the, ch uh, the, ch the students uh, are finding their way from their uh, background, educational background here into the industry, wherever that may be. Mm -hmm. So they're being picked up, they follow it. They, you know, there's a love here. I guess we like to capture that somehow with, with yeah. the students and what they're doing and who they're doing it with, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, love for animals and and, and product and, and and the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Our our students um, are, are certainly different uh, than others when you, um, if when you talk with them, um, which we've done a lot of because of our building expansion. Um, we've yeah. had you know, it, it's outside companies have to come and come in and talk to our students and say, you know, what makes it special? What do you not want to lose? Um, and hands down, our students have this 
innate love for nature. They just want to be outside. Um, mm -hmm. Even when they're talking about new buildings being built, they want to feel that okay. the outside is being brought in. Yeah. Um, so I, I think once you're here um, and you become part of this family and you, you essentially live on this beautiful campus, yeah. it's hard to not really fall in you love with, follow, yeah. Yeah. with what this is. Well, that's what we want to capture. Yeah, uh, you want to capture and show it off. Mm -hmm. uh, I said to Dell with uh, on YouTube, so that people who can't, we're we're from Somerset, yeah, and uh, from Somerset, uh, we 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 want to give the best for the children and the school and the opportunities for the school to grow, mm -hmm. to meet its debit, whatever it may be, and to try to uh, you know see that in, in a different uh, light or expose that to that light. Right. So uh, that's why we're here. Yeah. Well, you certainly picked the right uh, occasion. Uh, fall <laughs> show is uh, is really a showcase um, yeah. for everything that the students, um, you know, learn um, and, and have a passion for. Yeah. Um, and that's the best part of fall show is as you walk around and see the students, what they've done. Um, you know, if you engage them in conversations, they are invested in, in, in what they do in their education 100%. Mm. The, the um, I guess the governing body is the, the commissioners, the Bristol County commissioners, and uh, we, I'm friendly with them, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that that they're, they're very very cooperative and they're very very helpful to the school, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they, you know when I come up with these crazy ideas, they all they all think, you know you kind of like this, but then they say he's right. Mm -hmm. and so the thing is to get everything that you possibly can so that their dreams are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And the board of, we are very fortunate to have a board of trustees that is so supportive of this school yeah. uh, and its mission um, and is able to, you know, reach out and, and kind of, you know, scream the top of the mountains what this school is about yeah. um, because we have been a, a hidden gem for quite a long time. Well, um, you, you, Robin, you uh, way back, I don't know, about 100 years ago, but they, um, the the charge of, of the county commissioners was also the jails and the courts. And um, in my other life, uh, we made sure that this didn't, wasn't mm -hmm. stuffed away from, um, you know, the help that they needed. Right. And today, you know, just at, put it on a different plateau than ever, you mm -hmm. know, as we see it, as I see it anyway. Yes. Yeah, and the school is, is definitely different. I mean, from, from an all-boys school to... Uh, you know, you walk through our halls now and we have over 70% female students yeah. um, and 80% of them continue, of our students continue their education to post-secondary education. Mm -hmm. um, and whether that be in the agricultural field or a related field, um, those are some pretty significant numbers um, from, yeah. a, from an old farm school. What would um, you what say, what's, what's the number of in uh, children We have a, about, about 460. 460. 460. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when we we had done diamond uh, diamond vocational, when we do you, we want to make sure how many classes are we talking about? Um, would you say? I mean, um, we, we're talking about when we set up until we pick a day that we come in uh, in the morning. So, how many majors do we offer? Yeah. No. Um, well, how many ca would we? How many times? How many classes would we go to to, to capture the enthusiasm of the students? Well, you can go as many as you want. No, I know, but how many, how many are there? I mean, uh, for different majors, the offerings, yeah. there's uh, seven different majors. Seven um, different majors. So students would be able to concentrate on a specific major. There's seven different um, areas that they can do that. Okay. In the, and what, what's the attendance in those seven particular areas with children? So each, um, we go from obviously freshmen to seniors. Yeah. Um, if their freshman year is an exploratory program, so each student as a freshman is able to explore um, yeah. each individual major um, because you may come in thinking that you want one major, um, yeah. but you haven't been exposed to the others. Right. You know, it's very... Um, so that's a trial basis. Yeah, 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 it's seldom that somebody comes in and knows exactly what arbiculture is. Yeah, okay. um, and then you have a lot of kids that you know, explore arbiculture and, and fall in love with it. Yeah. Um, and so that's what the exploratory program for all of the vocational schools, um, yeah. there is an exploratory program. Um, and that's pretty much their freshman year. Um, they're okay. able to explore the areas and they get to, um, they get to, to pick um, which major they would like to expand upon. If they get selected for that major, then that's what they major in for the next f three years. Okay. Um, so each of those has about 15 um, or so students um, 
so there are 15 small animal majors, there are 15 floriculture majors. Um, so they kind of, that's, that's pretty much the class size um, okay. in the vocational classes. Our, our mission and my mission is, is to get, get that out there and, and allow people to, when you hear the, the words Bristol Aggie, you know, you're thinking of, hey, that's an incredible high school down in Bristol County. Well, that's, that's, Have you gone to see it? Yeah, it, it, it is. Our you, job. you know it is. I know it is. Yep. Uh, and we want the public to know it is. Exactly. And so yep. it's helpful. Uh, well, we're excited to, to be able to, to uh, allow you to come in and for us to um, show you um, and the community uh, what we're all about. Uh, my wife so. and I went to the uh, fundraiser that you had here outside of the... Uh, oh, the foundation. The foundation, yes. yes. It's another branch that we would love for people to know about. Um, yeah. The Bristol Aggie Education Foundation um, mm -hmm. is actually was started by uh, one of the commissioners. He is uh, and a former superintendent, Steve Dempsey. Okay. Um, and it's a means for us to, to give back to to the students and the school. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's brand new. It just started. That was our second uh, farm to table feast. Um, that's our the biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, and last year we were able to provide scholarships to students um, who were purchasing equipment, yeah. um, who had a operational business and, and needed to expand that business. So we were able to provide equipment or scholarships for equipment uh, for them to start their business or expand their business. And we're we are always looking for partnerships um, yeah. and and people who you know, want to be involved if they have experience um, in the industry, if they have business in the industry. Um, all of our programs are have an advisory board um, yeah. that essentially advises the programs, yeah. um, you know, what's happening in the industry. We are in the middle of a, uh, you know, a huge building project, yep. both a, a new building and renovations. Yep. Um, as you mentioned, the school is, you yep. know, uh, was built, you know, started in 1912. Yeah. We have some buildings here that were, you know, it's 1930s and 40s. <laughs> uh, so they certainly need to be renovated. Um, and we're in the middle of that. So, um, you know, we, in we encourage partnerships um, as we expand both our campus uh, and our student population. We're, you know, we're looking for people to get involved and, and, and get to know us a little bit more. So. Well, we want to do that. Yeah. Ro Robin Van Roth is the coordinator of all the programs at, uh, at here? Uh, community partnerships. So. Community partnership. Yep. And she's in, in, going to introduce us and get us inside the walls, outside <laughs> the wall of Bristol Aggie, your beautiful school. And you'll, fe you'll see, I know just from the, the fair, uh, how in love they are with what the work they do. So we'll make it good for you. You watch it. Thanks, Ron. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.